how many of you are yet to submit your prayer requests how can you be in christ and you're writing prayer point to christ you will talk to him verbally tell me where the early apostles say write all the prayer points and come if you're yet to let let me know very quickly because i want us to pray right now it's a sign that the believer have no relationship with god if you have relationship with god you don't write prayer points you do that when you are dealing with the deity mm. and idol mm. that's what you do if you have relationship with him you don't write anything yes i want us to pray right now does god read letters he reads your heart stretch your hands towards me we are going to be praying over these requests the way my children come boldly to my room mm. and ask me for toys verbally yes. that's why a christian should enter the true room of god ask him for whatever you want verbally writing a prayer point is a manipulation of preachers every christian who have relationship with god does not write prayer point hallelujah that's why it is stupid to write prayer point now i'm going to bow my knees as we pray you can keep standing and stretch your hands. It's really a major sign that many believers are far from God. Mm. Elijah never wrote. Moses never wrote. Believers were writing prayer points. Mm. Apart from them not having a healthy relationship with the Holy Spirit, mm. it's also a sign that they are in the outer, outer darkness. darkness. It is people in outer darkness that write a letter to God who is in light. I'm releasing my faith in partnership with the faith of all of our fathers of faith here. Apostles will never ask you to write prayer points. Is heavy religion for me to ask you write later to God and I kneel down on them and begin to pray is religion playing over people's intelligence tens of thousands of them arise oh God and show mercy go ahead and pray preachers who also ask people to write those prayer points yes sir. are actually either in outer darkness or they have lost contact with Christ yes. or they are genuine in Christ, but they are manipulating people. Yes. Or they are under pressure to perform. Yes. Or they are ministering to people according to their lawlessness. Yes. So they will keep inviting you, mm. keep putting you on social media, keep spreading your ministry, yes. and you keep having followers and views and yes, receiving an honorarium yes. and being invited across the nations of the earth. So mm. That is where you see a true man of God mm -hmm. concurring with what is wrong it's stupid for you to write your prayer needs to pastor to kneel down the paper and pray because except you are, except you don't belong to the kingdom i told you that's what religious spirit does because in matthew chapter 6 what did jesus say the father knows the father knows what you need how can you be writing a letter why the father already knows If you are in the same room with God, don't mm. write prayer points to God. Talk to him. Funny enough, people who write those prayer points yes. will still say they are having revival. It is religious spirit to make you feel that you are dealing with God. Show me where Jesus asked Peter to write a letter. How can you be having revival and you are writing huh? prayer points? You are mm. writing the letters to God. When there is revival, People don't write letters to God again. Yes. They now have proximity with God. I stand upon this prayer request prophetically. Everything that has pressed you down, the same way it is under my feet, let it be under your feet. Any revival that does not eliminate the distance between you and God is a deceit. believer who is still writing prayer point is a babe because a babe. it's a sign that the believer have no relationship with god if you have relationship with god you don't write prayer points yes if you have okay for instance mm -hmm. it's like this my children want me to give them money mm. okay let's so not i remember the last time mm. they wanted me to buy toys for them mm. so they didn't write a letter to me mm. a note Dear Daddy, I want some toys. Yes. They didn't do that. And they do. I, they did a list. A list. Okay. And mm. I attached some sacrifice. Some money. Some money. Yes. To convince me to give them toys. You see, you do that when you are dealing with a small G, a small God, a God. You are dealing with a deity, mm. an idol. Mm. That's what you do. But when you are dealing with God, it's your father. 
if you have a relationship with him, you don't write anything. Yes. You, the Bible wow. says, come boldly to the throne of grace, Hebrews chapter 4, so that you find grace to help in time of need. So the way my children come boldly to my room mm. and ask me for toys verbally, yes. that's why a Christian should enter the throne room of God ask him for whatever you want verbally. So wow. writing a prayer point is a manipulation of preachers. Mm. And the Christians are accepting it because they don't have relationship with God. Yes. Every Christian who have relationship with God does not write prayer point. Mm. At all. It's At not even all. occurred to you because God is answering your prayer. You are talking to him. In fact, it's really a major sign that many believers are far from God. Mm. And yes, they, they need to yes, really sir. get close. The very Bible says, draw true. near to God, very and true. God will draw near to you. Mm. James chapter 4. Yes, sir. So believers are very far from God. Very far. That is why you see there's a problem. Very far. Yeah. A Christian who have no relationship with God mm. is the one that's going to write prayer points. Yes, sir. For instance, mm. Elijah mm. never wrote prayer points. Mm. And James chapter 5 spoke to us mm. and said Elijah was a man of like passion. Yes. He prayed that there should be no rain, and there was no rain. Mm. He prayed that um, there should be rain and there was rain. Yes. So, Elijah, that was used as a template for us mm. to learn how to talk to God. Yes. Never wrote prayer points mm. to God. Yes. So, Christians who are writing prayer points, who are they copying in the Bible? They should show me anybody in the Bible who wrote prayer point to God. Mm, mm. The only person who wrote something, who, who present a, 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 a documented something to God, yes. was, I, I think, Ezekiah also. Mm. One of those kings of Israel that the enemy wrote letters to him to get ready that he's coming for war. Yes. And he took the letters to God. Mm. So you can take uh, doctor's reports to God. Mm. You can take, uh, um, how do we call it, court cases. Yes. To God in prayer. Okay. Present court summons. Father, please intervene for me. Okay. Uh, but writing prayer points, yes. nobody did it in the Bible. Mm. So, so, People, those who enjoy tremendous answer to prayers, yes, sir. they wrote prayer points. Mm. Elijah never wrote. Mm -hmm. Moses never wrote. Yes, sir. In fact, the glory of God covered Israel. You get my point? Mm. They live in the realm of glory. So they never wrote. Mm. That now tells you, believers who are writing prayer points, mm. apart from them not having a healthy relationship with the Holy Spirit, mm. it's also a sign that they are in the outer, outer darkness. darkness. They're not even in the outer court. It is people in outer darkness that write a letter to God who is in light. Oh my goodness. If you are in God, if you are in Christ, how can you be in Christ and you are writing prayer point to Christ? Mm. You will talk to him verbally. Yes, sir. If you are, if you are in Christ. Mm. It's, it, now, 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 a lot of preachers who also ask people to write those prayer points yes, sir. are actually either in outer darkness. Mm-hmm. Including the preachers, yes, the I, bishops, the bishops. Either the bishops are in outer darkness, yes, or they have lost uh, contact with Christ, yes, or they are genuine in Christ, but they are manipulating people, yes, or they are under pressure to perform, yes, or they are ministering to people according to their lawlessness. It is very possible to be a true man of God, yes, but you are ministering to somebody according to his lawlessness, okay, or according to his gullibleness, okay. When you minister to somebody according yes. to your, their lawlessness, yes, you don't want to rock, rock the boat, oh, yes, you will mm. go to their church, you see them doing what is wrong, yes, and you know it's wrong, yes. and then you will keep quiet mm. so that people will remain at peace, yes, so that they will keep inviting you, mm. keep putting you on social media. Keep spreading your ministry yes. and you keep having followers and views. Mm. You, you get my point? And yes, receiving an honorarium yes. and being invited across the nations of the earth because, because you don't want to rock the boat. You know mm. what they are doing is wrong. Mm. So that is where you see a true man of God mm -hmm. concurring with what is wrong. Mm -hmm. You get my point? Yes, sir. So, so, so which is very, very dangerous when a true man of God concur with what is wrong, he silently authenticates it. Mm. And the day of his judgment is coming because that person is soiling his anointing gradually. Yes, and sir. once the anointing becomes soiled, yes, then an unclean spirit will begin to use you mm. without even you knowing. Yes. So it is the same thing what happened in the book of Ezekiel, mm. where the Bible says, "A time came that Israel departed from God, mm. and certain Levites and priests were ministering to ministering to them yes. without confronting them." Of their lawlessness yes. without confronting them of their adulteries, yes. they minister to them according to their heart desires. Yes. And it was only a particular priest called mm. Zadok. Yes. Zadok means righteousness. Yes. So it was 
a, the, the sons of Zadok mm. that did not follow that pattern, mm. the Zadok priesthood, they, they rebuked Israel and never ministered to them according to their lawlessness. Mm. And when God now came to make comment through the prophet Ezekiel, Ezekiel yes. God made it clear. You yes. get my point? Yes, sir. God made it clear to them yes, sir. and said, and said, these ones that did not minister to Israel, yes, sir. according to their lawlessness, yes. I'm going to bless them. Wow. You get my point? Yes. Those ones that did mm. not minister to Israel according to their lawlessness, wow. Wow. they made it possible yes. for the people of Israel to mm. differentiate yes. between the wrong and the and right. The right. They gave them discernment. Yes. But those ones who ministered to Israel according to their heart desires, mm. God said, I will not allow them to have access to my court. Mm. And if you watch those preachers, mm -hmm. they fake spiritual experiences. Yes, they, they do. Tell you, oh, an angel came. Yes. Paul came. Yes. Peter came to see yes. me. They are lying to yeah. the people. So the people who exalt them in their heart. Yes. And writing letters to God. Oh, they have really. done that. Yes. Oh, not really. Mm. If you have high level spiritual experiences, it's going to humble you. Mm. You not even talk about it. Because when you begin to take people from the truth of the word of God mm. to spiritual experiences, yes. you are misleading them. Oh. The, the Bible says our faith should be established in the word. Okay. Not in experiences. Oh, okay. Espa establishing your faith in experiences yes. is a gradual departure from the faith, from the doctrine of Christ. That's why you see men like wow. Paul who wow. had serious wow. experiences oh with goodness. Christ. Oh. What did Paul say? He said, I know a man, he was either in the flesh, in the body or out of the body. I don't mm. know. He, he went to the talked heaven mm. and he spoke things that should not be uttered. Why didn't Paul tell us those things? Because, because he knows he spiritual experiences will only make you exalt will the man exalt of God. Him, yes. Do not get your faith established in the truth of God's mm. word. If you watch Paul, he spent his days teaching people one thing, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm. That is all. Wow. He spent his days that's doing that. True. So, that so, so people must true. understand that, that a lot true. of ministers are ministering to them according to their lawlessness. Mm. And the Bible says people love to have it so. Yes. They love preachers that will let them, that will minister to them and not rock the boat and not call a spade a spade. Yes. And not, and not tell them, drop that oil, mm. drop that water, drop that prayer point you are praying, mm. drop this. They don't want such preachers that will tell them the right thing. Mm. So they want preachers that will massage their ego mm. and, 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 and maintain a, a, a peace that does not really make, uh, help them to have peace with God. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 Ezekiel was one who professor and said, they say, peace, peace, but there's no peace. You invite me to a church where they write prayer point. Mm. Maybe, maybe they, will, they will not, uh, is that that they will, they will not allow me to finish the message? Because I'm going to tell them <laughs> that you don't have a relationship with God. Wow. If wow. Closeness mm. to God. To God. Mm. Once you have it, you don't write prayer point. Mm. Do you write let if you watch even in even in marital relationship, it is when relationship is breaking down mm. that they use text messages. Yes. People will be in the same house. Yes. And they're communicating on text messages. Yeah, we have sometimes the same room. Yes, because relationship has broken down. Mm. But if the relationship is okay. Yes, you don't use text messages in the same room. Mm. And so the person is very far from you. Mm. You now make a call or use text message when the person yes. is far. Yes. but you are the same room. You are using text messages. Relationship has broken down. So in the same way, if you are in the same room with God. Mm. The true room. Yes. You don't write text messages to God. You don't, you don't write prayer points to God. What? You talk to him. Yes. So, mm. you see, uh, what you have just said that is happening in the church is a major sign it's a that the church is sick. Major blend. Yes. That the church is sick. Yes. That I the agree. church really, really need help. Yes, sir. The church needs help. Mm. A lot of people I don't have a relationship agree. with Jesus Christ. Yes. And there's a need. There's a for, great need. For a strong revival yeah. that will need to bring people back to God. Yes. So, funny enough, people who write those prayer points will, yes. will still say they are having revival. So, yes. I, 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 can you be having revival and you are writing huh? prayer points? You are no. writing the letters to God. Now I know it any, was all Any fake. revival that does not eliminate the distance between you and God is a deceit. It's a deceit. Revival eliminates the distance between man and God. Hmm. And remove all the shadows. All the shadows. And bring you into the substance. 
when there's revival, wow. people threw away oil yes. and embraced the Holy Spirit. Mm. People threw away the use of water. Mm. You begin to see out of their belly will flow rivers of water. Mm. People threw away the use of candle. Yes. You see their spirit become the candle of the Lord. Mm. People threw away the use of salt. Yeah. You see they are now the salt of the earth. Yes. So when there's revival, shadows disappear. Mm. When there's revival, people don't write letters to God again. Yes. They now have proximity with God mm. uh, and uh, which does not require a prayer point. Yes, sir. And they, they don't depend on prophets yes. because they can hear God themselves. Mm. They don't need dream interpretation because they now understand their dreams yes, because sir. there's revival. Amen. So revival mm. actually eliminates the, the distance, distance between us and God. Just and once God. that distance is eliminated, mm. you don't see God in a shadow. Mm. You see him in reality. In reality. Yeah.